Officer John Irwin had encountered countless situations during his tenure with U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, but nothing quite like this. The peculiar series of events began when HSI Special Agent Scott Brown tasked him with leading a raid on a KFC establishment in Arizona. Following an anonymous tip-off, Agent Brown suspected that the fast food chain was harboring more than just their famed 11 secret herbs and spices. KFC, renowned for its fried chicken, holds the distinction of being second only to McDonald's in fast food sales. Which are in the United States alone, the Colonel's chicken empire continues to expand. However, a particular franchise in San Luis, Arizona, attracted the attention of Homeland Security. What transpired inside left officers bewildered. Residents of San Luis recall the time when they could easily procure a bucket of fried chicken just a stone's throw away from the Mexican border. However, one day the KFC abruptly closed its doors to the public, and the once thriving restaurant fell into disrepair. Under the scorching heat, the KFC sign faded, and the paint on the walls began to blister and peel. Despite standing empty for years, there were always a few cars parked outside, a mystery to the locals. Months after the KFC closed its doors, lights flickered to life inside the building late at night, sparking speculation of a potential reopening. Residents heard the sounds of blasting and drilling, assuming renovations were underway. However, to their surprise, the building remained shuttered, fueling rumors. Whispers circulated, with some suggesting the KFC had been acquired by a corporate behemoth, while others claimed a wealthy local had purchased it. Yet, the truth was far more astonishing, taking months for officials to unravel the mystery. One late evening, HSI Special Agent Scott Brown received an unexpected call on his personal cell phone. Initially tempted to ignore it, a peculiar intuition prompted him to answer. Little did he know, the caller would provide a tip-off that would lead to a startling discovery, compelling him to swiftly secure a warrant. With the warrant in hand, Immigration and Customs Enforcement moved to search the abandoned KFC building. Officer John Irwin was tasked with leading the team of ICE agents as they delved into the enigmatic premises. Upon entering the dusty kitchen, Officer John Irwin made a startling discovery, a sizable eight-inch hole in the wall. Recognizing the significance of this find, he immediately called for backup. Together, they began chipping away at the plaster surrounding the hole, revealing a deep shaft. What lay beyond? Shining a flashlight into the dark abyss, Officer Irwin was met with a surprising sight. Hundreds of wooden planks lining the walls of a passageway. The team cautiously entered the shaft, descending into a narrow tunnel. The passageway, measuring three feet wide and five feet tall, was just spacious enough for a person to maneuver comfortably. Taking a deep breath, Officer Irwin led the way, disappearing into the darkness. As the officers navigated the tunnel, their steps echoing softly, they prayed they wouldn't encounter armed guards at the other end. How far did this underground passage stretch, and what awaited them? Suddenly, the eerie silence was shattered by the sound of footsteps racing away from them. They were not alone. The realization dawned on them, this tunnel was strategically positioned to pass under the Mexican border, leading directly into Mexico. Advancing further, they eventually reached a ladder at the end of the 600-yard-long tunnel, which ascended to a trapdoor in the ceiling. Signaling for silence, Officer Irwin braced himself and kicked through the trapdoor. Peering out cautiously, he was met with a sight of rusty bed springs above. They would need to climb out to investigate further, Emerging from the tunnel, they were astounded by what they found. They had surfaced beneath a bed in a Mexican residence. Officer Irwin's attention was drawn to a long rope near the trapdoor's entrance. But before he could investigate further, he heard approaching footsteps. The officer stood back, waiting in silence as the sound drew nearer, accompanied by the faint beam of a flashlight. Soon, a man emerged, only to find himself surrounded by ICE agents. His suitcase was swiftly confiscated, adding to the intrigue of the situation. The discovery of the tunnel was preceded by a seemingly unrelated event. 
a routine traffic stop weeks earlier. Border police had pulled over a man named Ivan Lopez. Initially, everything appeared normal, but their service dog alerted them to something suspicious in Lopez's trailer. Upon inspection, they discovered two toolboxes containing illegal substances, leading to Lopez's immediate arrest. However, further investigation into Lopez's background uncovered a much larger operation. While Lopez was apprehended, the extent of his illicit activities was only beginning to surface. Following Lopez's arrest, HSI Special Agent Scott Brown received an alarming phone call from an anonymous resident, hinting at the possibility that Lopez's crimes were far more extensive than initially thought. This call added a new layer of complexity to an already intricate case. Following thorough investigation, Agent Brown uncovered that Lopez had purchased the old KFC for $390,000 in cash, prompting him to alert Immigration and Customs Enforcement. However, the question remained, had he acted swiftly enough? It became evident to officials that the purpose of the tunnel was to facilitate the smuggling of contraband from Mexico into the U.S. Lopez's toolboxes, seized during his arrest, contained narcotics valued at approximately $1 million, shedding light on the scale of the operation. Authorities surmised that individuals involved in the trafficking operation would descend through the trapdoor in the Mexican residence, traverse the 600-yard tunnel, and emerge beneath the old KFC building. From there, they would deposit the illicit substances, which would be retrieved through the 8-inch hole in the restaurant's wall using a rope. This tunnel, while an alarming discovery, is not an isolated incident in Arizona. Agent Brown noted, tunnels are a time-consuming venture, but they have definitely increased since border security measures have ramped up. One of the things that tunneling does tell us is that as we increase infrastructure, resources, patrol, that's forcing them to go to more costly routes into the U.S. Authorities suspect Lopez is a high-ranking member of a Mexican cartel. He is currently held in prison without bail, awaiting criminal charges. While cartel tunnels are becoming more prevalent along the Mexican border, the KFC tunnel in Arizona stands out for its audacity and sophistication. According to Brown, all the substances discovered in the tunnel were classified as hard narcotics, which he deemed unique and particularly alarming. He stated, I think that's what makes this tunnel a little unique, and frankly, a little more scary than some of the other ones we've seen. Richard Jessup, the town's chief of police, echoed Brown's sentiments, noting to the Washington Post that the proliferation of tunnels along the southwest border is not unexpected. Generally along the southwest border, every couple of months, we're encountering a tunnel, Jessup explained. Of course, if you can't go over the wall, you go under it. While many of these tunnels remain incomplete, some are fully operational. The KFC tunnel, while not the longest cartel tunnel, is a significant addition to the list of discovered passageways along the border. In 2016, authorities found a tunnel in San Diego, California, nearly half a mile long, connecting to Tijuana, Mexico. Interestingly, this is not the first tunnel to originate in San Luis. In 2012, a passageway was unearthed linking the Arizona city to San Luis, Rio, Colorado in Mexico. Despite this history, the discovery of the tunnel originating from the abandoned fast food restaurant stands out due to the substantial quantity of hard narcotics seemingly trafficked through it.